What is good back here with another YouTuber video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird wrestling world as you can tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on Ace Austin. Would love to know what your thoughts are on him down in the comments below, especially if you're uh, more familiar with Impact Wrestling than I obviously am. am. Uh, I've been trying to get into it last uh, like couple of weeks and all of that fun, fun stuff. But whenever I see Ace Austin clips online, clips on YouTube, the odd pay-per-view that I would watch of Impact, he is the one that I would have I don't know for sure if lasting impact is the right wording for it, but it's like, man, I want to see more of Ace Austin kind of deal. Him and Chris Bay uh, as well, uh, and all of that fun stuff. And for myself personally, he is one of those guys where I obviously don't know what his contract situation uh, is with Impact Wrestling kind of deal. So I assume that he's under some sort of exclusive contract with them, exclusive in the States, exclusive in North America. I know that he was, uh, or he did a couple of shows at least with New Japan. I think he either was or is in Bullet Club, like Impact's version of Bullet Club or Impact's division of Bullet Club kind of deal, if I remember right. Again, I'm not all too up to date on uh, impact. But from what I have seen of Ace Austin, super good in the ring. Definitely would love to see obviously more of him. Uh, preferably uh, in Smash Wrestling, uh, based out of Toronto and London, Ontario. C4 as well, uh, up over in Ottawa. I don't know if Barry would get him, kind of deal. Being completely biased, that's like my preferred option because Barry's the one uh, that I could make it work the easiest out of those three but either way when it comes to Ace Austin if I had to do uh, favorite wrestlers that I maybe not favorite but like five wrestlers I really like in Impact he would for sure be in that top five but again I don't watch Impact week in week out kind of deal to really say who are my favorites but he's one of those guys like I said earlier that I uh have a like man I want to see more of him kind of deal uh and all of that fun stuff he is really good I think in the ring he I haven't seen or heard I should say too much of him on the mic and he's been wrestling for longer than what I thought he would he made his debut April 4 uh 2015 which makes it I'm not the best at math, and the world caught fire, so I don't know for sure if you would want to include that, but like, give or take eight and a half years, uh, which is quite a long time for a 26-year-old. He made his debut. Again, I'm not the best at math, but give or take, like, 18 years old uh, and whatnot, so, which I guess isn't too unusual for people uh, training and whatnot in Canada and the U.S., uh, but either way... Uh, I really like him in the ring, want to see more of him, uh, again, preferably doing some of the bigger indie shows, what I mean by bigger indies, being completely biased, Smash, uh, C4, Defy, uh, those kind of, uh, Warrior Wrestling, if you would want to include that, that promotion, uh, and whatnot, but yeah, would love to know what your thoughts are on Ace Austin down in the comments below, while you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification, of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly, hope you guys are doing okay uh, mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's